Hello everyone, welcome to Rockshire Gaming. My name is Eric. Today we are going to be doing a mail call video for a couple different reasons. I got some packages in the mail this week that I want to uh, go over the contents of them um, with you guys, uh, kind of see what they are. Um, but there's also other reasons why I want to do this as a mail call video instead of doing unboxing of what is in these boxes, at least for right now. So without further ado, I've got... My box one for my pledge for Mar uh, not Marvel for uh, Masters of the Universe from Simon Games, and then over here, uh, I also have my box for my pledge. This is box two. This is going to be box one right here. Um, if you have been following the Facebook Masters of the Universe groups, if you have been following Simon's updates concerning. Um, the shipping on this, you will know that shipping on this game has been, um, wild. I think even, uh, Board Game Co. mentioned something about it. They got theirs, like, just a couple days ago as well. But this was supposed to be, according to the update, supposed to be here, like, beginning-ish of March. And I was like, sweet, I'll be able to do all this before the Zombicide White Death campaign starts. And then they said, oh, it's going to be probably end of April by the time everything is finished. I'm like, okay, great, I can do everything after White Death. This literally came in... Friday, Friday the what? Friday the seventh. So two days into the White Death campaign. Um, so I'm kind of lost as to what to do with this as far as doing stuff on the channel and everything like that. Um, so what we're gonna be doing today is mail call. So we're gonna basically be opening up these two boxes, seeing the contents of what is inside, and kind of going from there. Let me move these boxes down here and. I'm gonna move this box down here as well because I need to be able to ah, 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 uh, open it, which apparently you can still see it right there. Um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do with that. So we're gonna open up these uh, boxes and kind of just do a mail call of how these boxes look when they come in to the backers using our trusty knife right here. I already cut the open in there, so. Um, so the main reason, I think the mic's still pointing at me, the main reason why I'm doing this as a mail call too and not actually opening up all these boxes is because I'm still on the fence of what to do with this game as far as how to present it to you, the viewer. Um, and it's one of the things I'm going to put a poll up on the on the uh, YouTube page here. And ooh, this is going to be awesome. Um, Counts as plastic. This counts as plastic. Oh, there we go. Um, so what I want to do with this is I'm going to ask you guys here, as far as presenting this information, I'll put a poll up. Um, you guys can comment down below too if you want to. If not, that's fine. But um, what? How would how would you guys prefer this be um, presented? I guess is what I'm kind of asking for because if you're interested, because some channels will do it as just. Here's all the content. Here it all is in one video. Kind of not go through a lot of it in any detail. We've usually on here done, except for one video, we've usually done on the channel multiple um, unboxings of different like expansions and stuff like especially if it's something that everything came in all at once on. Um, just to kind of do, you know, just to show the different content, kind of go into a little bit more detail with the content. But I kind of want to see what, uh, what you guys think about that. Um, like I said, I'm very, very curious as to what you guys want to, what, how you guys think we should handle that. I'm all for doing it as a separate video. It's more work for me, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. So I don't know if I can get this back up here. Let's, whoa, lock in the microphone. Ah, sorry. All right. So this is what the inside of the box does look like here. This is just the first big box. It's got the um, main game Clash for Eternia, the box of power with all the extras, and then we got Castle Grayskull. It is upside down for you guys. I apologize. There it goes. Ugh. So there is that. Woo. So Clash for Eternia. There is the box right there. Um, pretty good artwork. They actually did a pretty good job of uh, imitating a lot of the old classic artwork from the game using their power system right there. So we're going to move that over. We'll do like back of the box and everything while I'm doing the actual unboxing videos. Woo! So here is the box of power. This one actually uses classic 
um, Masters of the Universe artwork, which is why, and people were curious about it, why um, this version of He-Man and Skeletor are not in the game. Everybody else, for the most part, is in the game, um, figure-wise, uh, character-wise, but those two are not. They didn't make it into the game for one reason or another. Um, but they're, like I said, the, but the artwork on there is pretty cool. And as you can see, put them together, like this artwork and this artwork, it 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 matches for the most part. Like it, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I like it a lot. So there is that. So we're gonna move those over because we got this B box over here. This is one of the ones I am most excited about. Wasn't gonna get it originally, but then I said, hey, why not? And there is plastic castle gray skull packs so if we do a, a separate videos i will probably do this with the gray skull expansion kind of showing that off but there is going to be the gray skull box i am excited for this only because i owned going back to how much experience i have with master universe master universe as a toy line which is what this is based off of came out in 1981 i was born in 1983 um so the show was definitely in, in syndication in reruns when I was a kid. Um, somehow I got all the toys. Like I remember being like three or four years old and having all, almost all of the Masters Universe toys. I don't remember all the names of the characters. Um, but if, like I said, during the Kickstarter, you show me the character, I, for the most part, I knew exactly who and where it was from. Um, but um, I had Castle Grayskull and my mom, I think when I, I didn't clean my room once. And I think she threw it away. And now that thing is worth even open. I'm pretty sure it's worth a lot of money. So I'm a little upset about that. But I have, basically, I have Castle Grayskull. Again, took me 25, 30 years to get it back. But I've got it back. But um, like I said, the game, uh, the toy line came out in 1981. I was born in 1983. I think when the show came out. I think when I was two is when she or Princess of Power was um, doing its thing. So... Um, there is that. I'm trying to figure out where to put all this stuff while I get to the other box. Put this over here off to the side. And then... I'll get rid of this. So, there is that. And then we're going to get to box two. Um, so, yeah. So, I like I said, I had tons of He-Man figures. I'm pretty sure it was like 87, 88, somewhere around there. Um, I know I had the original... Uh, Master Universe movie, live action movie, like VHS. I watched it so many times as a kid, I actually wore out that the tape actually broke inside. I don't remember if I saw it in the theater. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, but, um, but yeah, that's, uh, um, yeah, that's, like I said, I watched the reruns of the kids of the show. I had the He-Man Power Sword. I had the action figures. Um, somewhere there's a picture of me wearing like a He-Man tank top running around with the power sword when I was a little kid and not showing that on here because God knows we don't need to see me with, uh, curly Saved by the Bell screech, screech hair with that. But, um, like I said, I, like I said, I grew up with Masters of the Universe as a thing. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at box two. And it's down here. Oh, uh, cut the sides too. I'm trying to cut my foot. So this is how box number two is presented, right there. And we open it up, and I'm assuming this is the play mat right here. So it's just in a nondescript brown box with the uh, picture of the power sword on the front. Pretty sure, yep, that's the same power sword that's on the front of the main game. And then there's that. So I just want to show that how that was presented there. I didn't want you guys to have to look at brown boxes the entire time. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what else is in here. So, whoop, getting rid of all the other stuff. So these boxes are actually, I thought they were going to be bigger, but they are not. So this is Wrath of the Snake Man box right here. Or I'm sorry, Wrath of Snake Mountain box with the Snake Man characters in it. So for comparison, because you don't see the comparison on the website, this is the Clash Returnia. This is Wrath of the Snake Mountain. Wrath of Snake Mountain. I always want to say Wrath of the Snake Man, but I know it's not right. So there's Wrath of Snake Mountain right there. Let's go ahead and put this back here. We'll put this here next to it. Then next we have the Evil Horde. 
right there with Hordak. I do. I remember having a Hordak figure. I didn't have in the whatever the troops were called. I don't remember that, but I did have a Hordak figure back then. I think he was the only. I did have a Shira figure growing up. We'll get to that here in a second. Um, but there is the assault on Castle Grayskull. So again, you can see the scale with the boxes. So these boxes aren't too bad. There's just gonna be a lot of stuff in um, the big box. That's why it's that's, these two boxes are gonna be so large. But there's assault on Castle Grayskull. Like I said, this and this will be on the same video if we do separate videos. And then, not finally, but as far as these main expansions go, we've got Shira in the Great Rebellion with her toy-ish accurate uh, model right there. So there is Shira and Hordak right there. Um, let's see. A couple things in here. Got the 3D ruins in the game. We've got the 3D rocks. We've got 3D nature pack right there. All right. Then apparently I uh, got the Mantisaur box right there, which was a stretch goal. We've got Howl right there, and I've got the a pack of the marble dice. Apparently I only got one pack, I guess. I don't know why. Uh, who knows? Um, maybe I was trying to save money. I don't know. Um, let me make sure there's nothing else in here. Nope, that is all the things. So let's go ahead and organize this a little bit. And so we can see it on this shot right here. But that is everything that you get with an all in pledge for move the microphone so that it still picks me up for Masters of the Universe. Fit everything in this. Let's see here. All right, so that is going to be every ish thing for Masters of the Universe. I can't even see it all because I've got Castle Grayskull is blocked now. So, ah. so, yeah, that's everything in this game. Uh, the lighting's not even getting me anymore. It's fine. I'll take some of these things down. So, uh, but yeah, that is going to be all the things for this game. So, like I said, this is a lot to go through. I really don't want to put this as a two-hour unboxing video. My goal would be to just do uh, the main Clash Fraternity box as its own box. Kind of look at that. The Stretch Gold Box as its own box, probably putting these two together here, Castle Grayskull and um, the Assault on Castle Grayskull Box um, as its own thing. Um, and, and like I said, the expansions would be on their own thing and all of these terrain packs would be their own thing with like together, they would be just the terrain packs with like basically the extra stuff that you're not gonna get at retail, but, uh, but yeah, there is that. So. So, with that, that is Masters of the Universe mail call. All the things that came with Masters of the Universe. That is a lot of stuff. I don't know where... I mean, I had the spot. It's right there. Hold on. I mean, there's... This, I don't know if you can read it. That's where I, that's where I was going to go. That's where the, the hole it was going to go in. You know, the funny thing is, I ordered sleeves for this game the same day this arrived, that this I realized was coming, and they got here first. And they both came from the same place. The, the same store online or through Amazon. I know it came through the same store. Um, but yeah, that is going to be everything for masters of the universe. Please let me know in the comments below what your opinion is on unboxing. I may still just go ahead and do it as separate videos. Uh, but that is that. Um, but thank you for this, uh, uh, tuning in for this mail call video, a uh, comment down below, uh, like the, what is it we're supposed to be liking? We like the, the, we have the video subscribe to the channel and I thank you guys for watching. Uh, we apparently finally have the power, so we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.